Stand Store versus Go High Level. Now these are two of arguably the most popular content creator platforms on the internet right now. And while these are mentioned in the same sentence, they're very, very different on the back end. So inside of this video, if you're someone thinking about getting started with either of them, I'm gonna break down the main differences between these two platforms. I'm also gonna log in to show you what it looks like on the back end. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is right for you. And just before we get started, if you haven't yet joined either of these platforms, I have also created bonus courses for each of them, which is teaching you how to use all of the features and how to get set up properly. So if you wanna grab those and save yourself a ton of time, make sure you join using the links in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, I'm gonna to go to their websites. What I wanna do first of all is compare the pricing. And then I wanna also talk about the features that come with the pricing where it might seem quite similar. It is extremely different. So first of all, stand store, you can get started for $29 inside of that you get all of these features things like host and sell your own digital products you can create courses sell coaching calls you can also create an email list you can host a community have webinars and also host subscriptions and memberships so loads of features for $29 a month on the Creator Pro plan for $99 a month, you can also add an email marketing, have upsells in your funnels, as well as have your own affiliate program and also add pixel tracking. Now, the one thing I absolutely love about Stan is this is the kind of platform you can actually create all of the content and create your entire store just from your phone. If you do it on the computer, that's also great. But you can literally set up from scratch within 10 minutes. It's as simple as it can be for online business, you're not gonna find anything easier than Stan. Now, when it comes to Go High Level, it's a completely different kettle of fish. If I scroll down on their homepage and we go right down to their pricing, the basic plan is $97 per month. It's called Agency Starter. And inside here, you've got far more features than Stan Store, right? We've got CRM pipelines, we've got unlimited sales funnels, website builders, surveys and forms, you've got your email marketing. You've also got two-way SMS, which includes WhatsApp, so you can create conversations and automations based on that. You can book appointments, create automation workflows, courses and products, can have call tracking as well, reputation management, that's Google My Business, tracking and analytics, host communities, and you can also have document signing. So what I like to sort of say with Go High Level is it's probably one of the most advanced automation uh, online business tools out there. So many people are using it and it's usually at a higher level of business. If you're a content creator, you just wanna get something set up, you're brand new to tech. I wouldn't recommend starting with Go High Level because the learning curve is so far. I'd recommend just getting set up, creating a product and then actually start getting some traffic to it so you can start making sales. If you started with Go High Level, it could take a couple of days to get set up, a couple of weeks, even a couple of months. When I first started trying to go through this platform, it took me around six months to get my head around it. Luckily now it's, I know it like the back of my hand, that's why I created the Accelerator course to try to get people up to speed. So. In short right now, if you're someone just looking for a platform to get your digital products up and selling as fast as possible, I'd probably recommend Stan, just because it's so simple and then you can focus on the more important thing, which is actually getting traffic into your business and making sales. Whereas if you're someone that's trying to set up something that is, I guess, never going to need to be upgraded because it's basically got everything, Go High Level would be your go-to. Just expect to put a little bit of time in it as it's extremely complex. So what I'm gonna do right now is log into my accounts to show you the differences in backend. Okay, so this is my Stan Store. And honestly, I personally don't use Stan Store. This is just a demo account. I haven't even integrated Stripe in it. This is just for a tutorial I shot on YouTube. You can go ahead and check it out if you wish. But let me just show you how simple it is to get set up in Stan Store. So if you have already integrated things like your business info and all of that, Creating a product is so incredibly easy, right? So you can go click add product, you can create a digital product. Let's say you created a template on Canva, PDF, something like that. All you need to do is put in a title, a description, add a button, add a little thumbnail, right? And then choose a price. Let's just say it's $99. Come down, fill out the description, put in the uh, title headline there and the purchase button, which is it down here. And then uh, you can choose what fields you want to have, upload the file, click publish, and you're actually good to go. I'll just quickly type in a link here so it um, allows me to go forward, okay? Like so, click publish, um, oops, like so, click publish, okay? 
And that's literally as fast as it is. If I integrated my um, Stripe account, people can literally go to this page now and purchase a product. That's how easy it is. Now, if you wanted to do the same thing and go high level, first of all, you would have to go and create a product, right? And then what you would need to do is create a checkout page. Inside of that checkout page, you would have to create a product that you can put inside of that checkout page. And then after you've actually done it, you're gonna to have to create an email with the delivery inside of it. And this can take, you know, 30 minutes to around three hours, depending on your skill set. But in saying that, Go High Level is the all-in-one marketing tool. I've actually just moved everything to Go High Level because it's so powerful. And why I say that is it integrates everything, right? I've got my Gmail account added to that. Every time I get an email, it comes into conversations. Every time I get an SMS, it goes into conversations. Same thing with an Instagram DM. I've set it all my automations up on the back end. I've got my websites in here, my funnels in here, my email automations in here. It's literally got everything. And this is why once you're a little bit further ahead in your marketing journey, if you want to get into these deeper integrations and have everything in one place, that's when Go High Level is a great option. If you're also selling local business services, this is an incredible option too. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight between Stand Store versus Go High Level. I do believe they are for people at different parts of their journey. Once again, if you are brand new to online marketing, you just want to create a simple digital product and you just want to sell it to your audience with as little hassle as possible, Stand Store 100%. It's so quick, it's so easy, you'll get the job done then you can focus on making money. If you wanna create like something that will never have to be changed because it's just got every feature inside of it and it's just a little bit easier to use um, once you've got everything in one place, that's when I would use Go High Level. Me personally, I'm at a stage where I need all of my information in one place. That's why I've moved here. Uh, and once again, if you're thinking about getting started, I've got that accelerator course. It's just going to show you what to do, how to use it in a very fast time. But anyway, that's it guys, Stand Store versus Go High Level. Hopefully I've helped you out inside of here. Hopefully I've helped you make a decision. Once again, if you wanna get my bonus accelerator courses, use the links in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to help. I'm always checking my comments and replying to them. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.